the PGOA PGMOL just apologize. I'm just reading it now, yeah. Yeah, the statement's crazy. These... It's the stupidest thing. They've done it again, man. They, 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 I can't be bothered anymore. They're just the, the, the thing. The thing is, the thing is right. I feel like genuinely, like uh, maybe may, maybe I'm being maybe I'm being ridiculous. But for me, when it's Arsenal, when it's Liverpool, this shit happens. When it's United, when it's City, when it's Chelsea, this shit does not happen. Like when it's the money clubs, this shit doesn't happen. When it's us, when it's Liverpool, it doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. I'm sorry, it doesn't. And I feel like there's a... It's not even about an agenda. There's just a genuine... Have the referees ever made a mistake when Man United or Man City were playing? No, even though their, their fans pretend that they do. Like they, if, if United have got me a, got a statement like this from PGMOL, then show it to me. Because I'm i sure that... I mean, look at the Onana one, for God's sake. The Onana one against Wolves. I mean, how ridiculous was that? Like, I, like, I'm not sitting here saying that, um, oh, there's corruption, this and that. It's a genuine bias towards towards having the referees be right. That's what the Anfield talk is saying. Official statement from the PGL, corruption. <laughs> look, no, but the thing is, it's, it's a constant way to look to protect the referees and not protect the game. It's constantly that way. But it's like, okay, my, my major issue is, right, okay, so... I'm what's the punishment right here. No, no, but there's no punishment. No, because, look, this is what I'm getting on to, right, so... Last season, it happened to us where they forgot to draw the lines. And guess what they did? They bought the, all right, so they suspended the guy, fired him, brought him back this season to actually train people to do VAR. It's like, this guy forgot to do VAR, and you want him to train people to do VAR? Like, what, what you, and now it's happened again. No coincidence. There's no punishments. There's nothing. And that's the reality of it. They get escape free. They get to go home. Oh, don't abuse the rest. They deserve abuse. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even care what people think of me right now. Because the reality is they get away but with even murder. Jamie Carragher is sick and tired of it. Everyone's sick and tired of it. Because they keep Do you know how many apologies? We had more apologies last season than we probably had goals scored. They apologised for Martinelli's goal. They apologised for this goal. It was like several apologies by Christmas. Every single week was another apology. It's like just shove them up your ass and actually do your jobs. I don't know. I don't know. What's this? PGO admitting massive mistake, allowing the goal. For this Hacking. is this is just dumb. I'm sorry, Terry. Love you, but this is this is a dumb. This is a dumb ass tweet. Look at that at perspective of the angles, mate. Look at the the angles. It's not the same situation. You can see Ake in front of Leno, whereas Onana has a clear line to the ball. It's not the same situation. At all. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like Onana's not even looking at the uh, at the at the two players. Why don't they implement this type of year? Uh, rep because they year. don't get to control the narrative. They don't get to control the game. The AI does it everything. Because here, current, right now, right, humans still have to draw the lines. Humans still have to put the lines on. This completely automated. It's like the um, the goal line technology. There's no. So why don't they implement it? Because makes they, their life easier. No, no, because it's not yeah. about making their life easier. It's because they, they, they don't want. They, they don't. They want control. They want to make sure that they control the narrative. That's the problem. Stupidity. It's actually stupid. It's so really the reason the reason why the Tottenham goal didn't didn't go uh, the the, the, the goal, goal was disallowed is because Tottenham didn't have a camera in their new world world class stadium no no because this this shot has been taken it's because they didn't draw the lines it's like brentford again yeah they, they didn't, didn't draw, draw the lines they no, didn't they draw didn't. the lines man that's it that's, that's the same mistake again it's mad daylight it's... robbery it's fucked up but hey uh let's the finish up right, just, just, just 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 last thing before this because if that goal goes in right Liverpool go one up. They still have 11 men on the pitch. It's a completely different game. A completely different game. No, they right? don't have 11 men on the pitch. Was the DS goal before at, at that or point after, they after have the Curtis 10 Jones? Men. Was it after the Curtis Jones it's goal? It's 2-1 up, 10 men. Was it 2-1 up? I thought it was 1-0 up. Yeah, it was, they, they scored 2-1 and it was 10 men. That was the situation. 
after that goal was scored. Yeah, I was only yeah, half okay, watching yeah, it. Yeah. I was only half watching they it. They still would have so, still had 10 men. Yeah. Yeah, if they still had 10 men, then they there don't have... Two ten, what ten, about the Jota? Nine men behind the ball. Jota's first yellow card He's was from Odoji tripping himself. Just... If that was Arsenal, I would be fuming. And of I, course, it's not even Arsenal against... when I'm fuming. It's yeah, not it's even just, Arsenal. It's just I'm the just inconsistencies upset. that constantly happen. It's, it's every not... single goddamn week. It's not just the inconsistency, right? It's the fact that you can't trust the game. You can't yeah. trust the game. Like if if I if I'm sitting here and I've said you've taken out real time celebrations, right? Look, I can accept if it's if is if there's human error. Right, and there's no VAR, right? Because then at least you get the emotional celebration we used to have. There's a discussion after the game. If you're going VAR, get it goddamn right. Get it right. Well, you've got, you've got the your, your you've got to take replays. it completely serious. You, you, you can go the you can take the game back. Yeah, you can take the game back. You've got time. You've taken three, four minutes making decisions anyway. It's not like you you time them. It. It's not like you're under pressure to make these decisions. It's like we see it back and go. Well, actually, yes, it's offside or it's not. They offside. don't care. Honestly, yeah, it's, it, they, they, they want to know who wins and loses. That's it. They... I don't think I don't think it's corruption to the level where they want to control who wins and loses. I think it's just they don't want to supersede. I think there's a creative director. You know, I'm I'm convinced. No, it's not even about it's not even yeah. about to have it in one team's advantage. It's the fact is the referees always have to seem like they're right. The referees, right? If you look at the Onana chance, you look at the Ake thing, right? You look at the Onana ch the challenge. If you, if you heard the audio, I don't know if you went and heard, heard the audio. They literally said it's a red card offense, and then went back on on the onto, um, back onto the to him in the in in his ear and be like, oh, it's okay, check complete. Like they said, there's an offense there, and they went check complete. Like it's like uh, it's the bias is towards the refs, not towards the game. The sanctity and the the, in, the integrity of the game isn't being put paramount here, and that's the problem. I don't know. It's, it's a it's a very weird situation. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving because this, because the thing is, it's it's too, if we just won four nil. I don't want to end on like a yeah. <laughs> on saying. You know like what? Let's finish doing the player ratings because I feel like today. Yeah, go on. Let's be honest. Can we just give all these guys seven? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that video on Eagle Talks Football. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about what you just watched. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 25K. And let's try to get to at least 30K maybe by the end of next season. And as of right now, I bid you guys adieu. But don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you guys think.